click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, Ross here coming with another fantastic chemistry video and today we're going to talk about reactive intermediates. Specifically, we're going to draw some orbital diagrams of what the intermediates look like in terms of orbitals. It's going to be very helpful when we get to the SM1 reaction and we're looking at things like why do chir chiral alkyl halides racemize when undergoing an SM1 reaction. So you're going to really want to know this and uh, remember, it's going to be helpful later on down the road. It's not just an exercise to uh, make you suffer. Although that's fun too. So we're going to do this one first. Now, this is a carbon with four electron groups. So it's sp3 tetrahedral. So and it has four electron groups. Let me count them for you. One bond, two bonds, three bonds. And the lone pair makes the fourth electron group. So now carbon... Here's the sp3 orbital coming out towards us. And there's the hydrogen. Here's the sp3 orbital going away from us. And it's hydrogen. And if you want, you can draw the electrons in like that. Here is the sp3 orbital going up. And let's put the lone pair in there. Uh, let's put the, like this. And here is the other sp3 orbital going over like that. Eh, supposed to be. Let's see if I can do a little better. Well, not much. I tried my best. There you go. And of course, that carbon is negative. Don't forget. So the lone pair on the um, carbo carboanion or carbanion is in a sp3 orbital. Okay. Now let's take a look at the carbocation. Carbocations have three electron groups. So carbocations are sp2. These are sp3. Let's write that over here. So carbocations look something like this. And here is the one of the sp3 orbitals here. Here's the other one coming out towards us. Remember sp3, sp2 is trigonal planar, right? There you go. And now, because it's sp2, it has an empty or unoccupied p orbital right there. And these are, of course, positive. There you go. So now, here's sp2, 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 and here is an empty or unoccupied p orbital of a carbocation. So take home message here is carbanions, or sp3. Unless they can resonate, of course. If they can resonate, they're sp2. They're sp3. They're tetrahedral. sp2 cat, uh, carbocations, carbocations are always sp2, are trigonal planar, and they have an unoccupied p orbital. So carbanions are tetrahedral, typically. Carbocations are trigonal planar. And that's going to become very important as we move into the other units of this class and start talking about reactivity and outcomes of reactions. All right, guys, if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and slap that like button. Leave a comment down below. Tell me how I'm doing. Let me know the kind of problems that you're working on in organic chemistry. Maybe I can help you by making a video just for you. And if you could, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really does help me out as a creator when people subscribe to my channel. And it gives me lots of energy and motivation to keep moving forward uh, doing my thing here on YouTube. So with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon, okay? Email drbetts at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.